All right, everybody, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about hot keying your upgrades with other vital structures. That's the best way I can put it. This is definitely going to help you in your 1v1 play actually be better. Well, I should say definitely. It might help you in your play um, when it comes to upgrades, like such as resume glaives, extended thermal lance, or, you know, typical upgrades like 1-1 one, one, and all that jazz. So what you're going to do is you're going to literally hot key, like, say, your command centers, right? And that's that might be the best one to go with, whatever, you know, Hatchery Nexus Command Center. Um, and you're going to get whatever else you're upgrading too. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm upgrading 1-1. One, one. You're going to hotkey that along with your Command Center. So you can see that it's hotkeyed with my Command Centers. Um, this is nice because it doesn't take priority. So even if, you know, you're, you don't want to always be looking at engineering base, for instance, when you press that, that number four button, you want to probably be making SEVs and dropping mules and scanning, and it would suck if you always had to tab over for that. Well, you don't. You only have to tab over once. Uh, or twice, actually, I guess, depending on how many band centers you have. But still, and then you can go ahead and upgrade from these, um, and they'll they'll do it automatically, too. Like, I didn't tab again past that third engineering bay. I just, I just hit E and A. So, this is really nice. I'd say that it maybe will help you, because I actually learned this trick a long time ago um, from someone who learned the trick from watching pro gamers, of course, but uh, I tried utilizing it, and it didn't actually help me that much. I, I would never check... My, my eyes would never go to the production tab anyways, or the whatever you want to call this, command tab, whatever it is called. And I would never see that it was finishing or completing the upgrades. Um, I also used to hotkey the engineering bays on like zero or something like that to at least try Intel, and I just... I'm bad. I couldn't do it. But if you can train yourself even a little bit to look at it, or just in case this helps you immediately anyways, because now you have that extra... Uh, hotkey setup as opposed to trying to fit it like all the way over to zero like I tried doing then great Then it works for you and this can be used of course on any other race um, For any of the other important upgrades. I know actually quite a few Protoss is um, I think I think Zest does it but don't quote me on it um, That you know hotkey the not only the forges, but also like resident glaives right with it so you have your two most important upgrades. Oh, I say Resident Glaze, but that's why I counsel. Because <laughs> you have your two most important upgrades um, on what you're going to be hitting probably most commonly, because uh, generally your hatcheries, nexus, and commanders are also going to be somewhat of your location hotkeys. Especially if they don't use location hotkeys, then they're probably going to be it. So when you're you know going back to your main base to, to deal with a drop, you also are like, are, hey, I need to start plus one and Resident Glaze. Oh my god, I need to hurry up. And now you know. Hopefully it helps out at least some of you guys out there in your 1v1 play or team games or whatever. But hope it, hope it helps. See ya.